be a sponge, and then bring the juice. By focusing on your improvement, by focusing on your progress, and eliminating any fixed mindset that you may have, and acts of perfectionism, then you encourage your own mastery. On some level, we do what we want to do 24 hours a day. Now, sometimes it may not seem like that, like, but if I'm choosing to work instead of sleep, what I'm actually saying is, keeping my job is more important than sleeping. I'm tired of this. Like, it's just like, I'm tired of getting beat. What can I do to, to get over this hump? So mentally, that's when I kind of put that, that forefront, like, hey, it's either all or nothing. I, I, I like to put failure in quotations because I don't believe that failure is true failure if you're looking at it with the right mindset. The truth is the journey to greatness is hard. It takes time, it takes effort, it takes focus, and every day you have to decide what you value, what you want to pursue, and what you want to achieve. And if you dig deep enough, if you push hard enough, we all have what it takes to be great. Welcome to the Edge of Greatness. Welcome to From the Edge, September 21st, and this week I've been really working hard on trying to better create a prioritization schedule to get things done. So I don't usually have a lot of trouble when it comes to motivation or putting in work or having things to do. I do struggle, however, with choosing what things to work on. I find myself, and I'm sure if you've listened to this show for a little while now, you've heard me say it before, I am not good at setting my own targets. I do really well if, if I'm given a bunch of targets, like how to hit them, I can line them up and pop them off. Um, but I'm working on trying to create a schedule that allows for me to have set targets for each day and things to aim for throughout the week. So one of the things I've worked on is I went out and I got a, uh, a dry erase calendar and I've set specific days up with what I'm going to be doing that day, what I'm going to release as far as my media stuff, what I'm going to um, spend time editing, working on, doing those sort of things. And then within that, I created a list of targets for how many shorts for YouTube, how many clips, how many videos, how many um, pieces of content do I need to or want to create throughout the week, and I've created a little checklist. So um, that's something that I find interesting because I feel like there's definitely people out there who are very easily focused on what they're doing and they don't find themselves distracted. I am not that way. So I'm someone who it doesn't matter if I'm working on a specific project and I don't have like a deadline, I'll be working on that project and then something else will come up and I'm like, Ooh, shiny object. <laughs> and I start chasing it. And, and that's part of my downside. And, um, I'm aware of it, but it doesn't, it doesn't make it any easier to stop me from, from going after it. So that's something that I know that I need to get better at and it's an, it's an interesting piece but this week has been has been challenging because I am getting close to finishing the book. I am getting close to launching a new website. I'm getting close to creating a member page. I'm getting close to um setting up interviews and doing different things. So like there's a lot of things that I'm like close to the finish line with or that I'm constantly working on. And it's really easy right now for me to go, all right, I've made some progress, not enough. Ooh, shiny object. Let's go over there. I made some project process, bleh, progress, but not enough. Ooh, shiny object. Let's go over there. And that has definitely been a real struggle for me. So um, what I would love actually is if, if you have plans or ideas or things that work for you to keep yourself on task, share them with me, please. I, I, I'd love to hear them. It's something I'm trying to work on and get better at. It's something I need to improve upon because I am going to constantly have a lot of things on my plate. That's just the way I'm wired. 
but I'm also constantly going to be distracted really easily. It's just the way I'm wired. So I need to either pull things off my plate so I can get more focused or learn how to prioritize better so I can knock off those projects as I work through the various things that I'm trying to accomplish. So it's an interesting dynamic right now. It's, it's kind of a fun little thing that I'm, I'm kind of learning how to balance, but you know, I think that's part of the, the deal with this is that when you are attempting to accomplish things, when you're attempting to do different challenges, you're going to discover stuff about yourself that needs work. Um, and so for me this week, that has been my main focus is how can I better prioritize the things I need to get done each day? Because on top of all those things that I'm trying to create, I am also a business owner and I'm trying to run a business that's successful and brings in some money. So that right there has been, um, yeah, it's been a very interesting adventure. So like I said, if you, if you have ideas, if you have thoughts on how we can, uh, I can, I can get better at prioritizing my time, knocking things off my list. I've tried do the hard thing first. I've tried listing off what I want to accomplish for the week. I've tried various things. I'm a, I'm a shiny ball chaser. (laughs) Uh, I mean, that's, that's the best way to describe me. If, if, if I'm on task, I'm good. But once I get to a point where I'm comfortable that I've made progress, I find myself very easily distracted by the next shiny ball. So um, finishing things has always been a challenge for me. I, I follow through pretty well. I get things started very well. But when it comes to wrapping things up to its conclusion without trying to start the next thing, that's definitely a real challenge for me. So um, short one this week. Just wanted to give you an update of where I'm at. I'm, like I said, I'm working on a lot of things. So if you heard me in there, I'm, I'm working on a member page and a member portal that's going to give us some more access to different things and different information. I'm working on finishing up the book. I am working on um, the content creation, obviously, as always with the podcast and writing some different things for you guys. And, uh, you know, those are, those are things that are on the priority list right now. But overall, you know, things are moving pretty good. I feel I feel pretty confident that we're I'm headed in the right direction at least. So um, keep sending me tips, keep sending me pointers. Love to talk to you guys. As always, keep reaching for the stars. Fall flat on your face, but remember, whenever we fall, always get up. Thank you for joining us today on the Edge of Greatness podcast. If you haven't yet, please take a minute now to subscribe and review our show. Join us again next week as we continue to dig deeper into the key components of greatness. The path to greatness is never linear, so remember to keep pursuing greatness no matter what. Keep stretching your abilities, reach for the stars, and fall flat on your face. But remember, no matter what happens, whenever we fall, always get up. Until next time, I'm Charles Schultz, and this was the Edge of Greatness Podcast.